Johan, that's amazing. Right? See ya. He was gonna go at least seven years. A lot of good memories. We had a lot of fun in there and in the field. Number 17! That's good, man. Santana, oh, he's, he's awesome. He was probably the best pitcher that I have seen wearing this uniform. Got him! He, he's the man. He was the best in baseball. Those years, the dominance that he brought, the confidence that he had, and the way he lifted a whole team. It's not going to be another Johan. That's the way it is. Blew him away on three pitches. You have not been back to Minnesota in 10 years. About 10 years. What has it been like to be back here? Unbelievable. I'll tell you what, when we drove in uh, two, two days ago, we went by uh, where the metronome used to be. Yes. Where home used to be, where all the magic and all the history happens for me and for our team uh, back then. And, and I got emotional because I, I didn't see that white roof that I used to see every day driving in. And now I see this beautiful ballpark. And I was like, wow, it's amazing, you know, how time flies and how everything changed. Tell us about the phone call, the phone call that informed you you would be a Twins Hall of Famer. So I'm home, I'm talking to Dustin, uh, Dustin Morrison, and they wanted to talk to me about a couple of things. So at that point, I have no clue what they want to talk about. And all of a sudden, he said, they said, well, we got somebody special who wants to talk to you. And then it was a three-way phone call. So, and Rock Carew uh, just stepped up and, and, and congratulate me uh, and then uh, into being selected into the Hall of Fame. And I'm like, <laughs> what, what's going on here? So it was a big surprise. Uh, that, I don't know, that moment was very special. I remember my first day when I came in, you know, I remember when I landed in Fort Myers and then Bill Smith and Terry Ryan went to pick me up at the, the airport. And I show up with only one piece of luggage. <laughs> He would ask me, where's my baseball equipment? <laughs> well, my baseball equipment is in the bag. You know, it's in, it's in there, but I should have baseball equipment in my, uh, in my locker room. Then I remember Terry telling the story, oh, what we get into? I mean, this guy doesn't even have a baseball bag, you know? And I, remember, I always remember that because I remember starting from, from nothing, from zero, you know? But happy to have that opportunity and then something that I was not gonna let go. You know, that was the dream that you have as a, as a child, as a kid, but also as a baseball player. When you become a professional baseball player, you want to reach to the major league level. That's where yeah. you wanna be. That's where everybody wants to be. Hit hard, Rebus with a great stand. There's a call, third strike, two away. A fair ball down the line. Two-two pitch, strikes him out. What's it been like? just having these guys back in town, your old teammates here oh, this weekend. Oh, fun. You know, fun, because I haven't seen them in a while. I talk to them from time to time, but to see them right there, it just bring back memories right away. When we went back in 2002, all the way to 2006, you know, when we had that run of uh, playoffs and everything, and, and then clubhouse, plane rides, all that stuff, you know, that uh, we went through. Not as a team, but as a, as a, as a friends, as a family, because that's how we were built up mm -hmm. back then. It didn't matter who you were. I mean, you could be an all-star. It didn't matter. We, all, we were all the same. And, and that was the beauty about the whole, the whole team. In your time with the Twins, as you look at those years, those early, mid-2000s, your accomplishments, your time in Minneapolis, how do you sum that all up? How do you describe that time in your life? The best. You know, the best because we went through a lot as a team. I remember in the early 2000s, uh, they wanted to get rid of us. They said that we might have to move, mm -hmm. a couple teams might have to come out of baseball. And we were like, so what is this? I mean, this is, this is my job. How can this be possible? We start working, we do stuff. It's not just about us, it's for the whole city and everything. And that's how we approach everything. And then, when I walk in today for the first time, I look around and I was like, oh, so this is what it is like. This is what everybody wanted to do back then. And I feel like I was part of it, you know, because mm -hmm. if you, if we wouldn't been like that back then, 
you know, chances are that in the future we wouldn't have anything. There was no new ball for nothing here in Minnesota. So we took that very seriously. Every single night that we took the field, we play hard. And that's, uh, that's the approach we had. Everybody, not just me, but everybody, the whole team, we always play hard. But you got love for the Twins? A lot. Believe it. <laughs>